Good morning, John. This week I woke up in New York City and my hair looked like this, and then I went outside and it looked like this, and then I went back inside and filmed an episode of The Financial Diet, which looked like this. You can watch it at youtube.com slash The Financial Diet. And then I saw you, and you looked like this. It's a reunion video! Hi. Hey, how's it going? And then Sarah took us around to a bunch of amazing art galleries in Chelsea, and they looked like this, and this, and this, and I felt very lucky that you are married to someone who understands art, because even as a person who who doesn't really think very much about art, I still really appreciate it, and it's wonderful to look at amazing art, but it is difficult to find it, or if you do find it, to feel like you belong in those spaces with their giant white walls and terrifying price lists. At one point, I went into a Banana Republic, and I got a shirt for the thing that we're doing tonight, and I didn't take any footage of that, but I wanted to mention it because of how much I appreciated the quiet assertiveness of the young man who helped me pick out my outfit, because I would have been totally lost without him. When I'm in New York, I am, for some reason, more than anywhere else, amazed by the reality that it all somehow works. That all of the people, from the cab drivers to the garbage collectors to the guy at the Banana Republic who helps fools like me look presentable, to the people pruning and decorating the Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center, all come together to make this thing function. I mean, New York City is full of amazing and beautiful things, but in a lot of ways, the most amazing thing I saw today was this. Not because I have tremendous brand affinity for Pret-a-Manger, which to be clear, I totally do, but because food is complicated. So many ingredients edible for such a short time after their creation, and yet there's always food. It might cost more than in the rest of the world, but it's always there. I, and I'm not amazed at how good it is or how good it tastes, but simply at the logistics. How does it happen? How do we feed and water all these people? Sometimes it seems like everything is broken and nothing works at all, but when things work, we don't tend to notice. There's nothing quite like knowing, as I have my whole life, that there will be food at the corner store. I don't spend enough time being grateful for that. And not just grateful that I can always get food, but grateful that so many people come together and work hard to make sure that all of the people in New York City can continue eating and drinking and everything can continue to function. That's not something that just happens. That's something that people do. John, I'll see you tonight.